and a team of Nepalese climbers are the first to reach the summit of the world's second highest mountain in winter. This next story is truly remarkable. For the first time in history, the K2 summit in Pakistan has been accomplished during the depths of winter. A group of 10 Nepali Sherpas carried out the amazing feat in some of the world's most dangerous climbing conditions. A spokesperson for the team said they all stepped onto the summit together while singing the Nepalese national anthem. But while this is an historic moment, there is tragedy too. Just moments after the summit was achieved, a 49-year-old Catalan mountaineer, Sergi Mignote, who was also attempting the climb separately, fell to his death. Well, let's talk now to Freddie Wilkinson, a writer for National Geographic, who has been following uh, the story of the Nepalese climbers very closely. Thanks so much for joining us. Let me ask you, first of all, why is it um, such a huge accomplishment to climb K2 in the winter? What's the difference? What are the big challenges that you face? Hi, Marianne. Thanks for having me. Um, climbing K2 in winter is one of the toughest uh, feats of human endurance that mountaineers can undertake. And uh, it stacks all the normal challenges of climbing at extreme altitude on technical terrain with uh, frigid temperatures and frequently gale force winds. What do you think is important about this particular group of uh, people climbing it? Because obviously uh, some are saying this marks uh, an important change in the demographic of, of mountaineering and climbers. Absolutely. I think this news is being celebrated by the international climbing community uh, as this uh, historic uh, first winter ascent was accomplished by a all Nepali team of mountaineers. And um, the other uh, tallest mountains in the world have all uh, been climbed in winter before. So K2 was a last remaining challenge. And the fact that it's a, a Nepali team of predominantly ethnic Sherpas uh, highlights their contributions to the sport of Himalayan climbing. Uh, there have been six other attempts to climb K2 in the winter, haven't there? What's the difference between those attempts and this one? <laughs> Well, I think the common thread that um, that we can really, really focus on is the fact that this team had extensive experience climbing 8,000 meter peaks together prior to trying K2 in winter. And uh, one of the leaders of the teams, there were actually uh, two uh, teams of Nepalis that ended up uh, teaming up in base camp, was led by Nims Persia, who achieved uh, recognition for setting the speed record on all 14 8,000 meter peaks in 2019. And his team of uh, support Sherpa, who, who partnered with him to achieve that, um, are remarkable climbers themselves. And so this was the dream team of uh, Himalayan climbers going to K2. And uh, before I let you go, there was obviously also tragedy involving someone in another group of climbers at the same time. It's a dangerous um, attempt to make, isn't it? It's extremely dangerous, and uh, statistically, K2 is one of the most dangerous peaks in the world. And the fact that the fatality was a supremely capable climber and um, high-altitude athlete shows that um, bad luck can happen to anyone on K2. Okay, Freddie, it's good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.